Uh, station Gary Main, just to the west of Chitu Old Driveway. Copy, thanks very much. I wonder what it is. Now, this is the thing about certain creatures. The moment you try to predict what they're going to do, they can prove you wrong. And we're about to show you an example of that. And earlier on this drive, we had Karula going southwest away from here. Now we're back to the northeast and she's popped up next to our southern boundary. Maybe she is coming north there. She is. You got it, jean -Dre? So, oop, there. A, a little bit to the right. A bit more. Looks like she's just made a kill as well. Keep coming. There we go, zoom. Look at that, she's killed an Impala, an adult Impala. So she's come the opposite direction from where we saw her a few minutes ago. I mean, a few minutes ago, an hour or so ago. She is to the south of our boundary. Now, I can't see if any of the cubs are here yet. Sorry guys, I'm just going to be on the radio for a second. Those cubs were born 2nd of f uh, Feb, so five months. Uh, in the north we have been putting two vehicles in. Oh, cubs are here. Where are they, jean -Dre? I don't see them. One's uh, head popped up behind the carcass. Oh, one's head popped up behind the carcass. I started looking everywhere. So it is a big impala. Now that is a bit of a problem and due to the fact that it's going to be too heavy for her to hoist into a tree until she's maybe removed the stomach. So, oh there's the cub there, you can just see it to the left of her. Now it is closing on sunset, the killer is on the ground. So we're not going to spend much time here. We'll just try to get one view of the cubs, a decent one, and then we'll make space for the next vehicle. Look at that. We'll try to see the cubs. But as you know, we don't stay with leopard kills on the ground, and we don't stay with cubs after about... 10 minutes from now, the sun is getting quite low. And of course we want to give her the best chance of eating and the cubs is eating as much as possible because a big impala on the ground like this is a very, very good chance that hyenas might steal it and the fact that it's so close to Gowrie Main, which is a virtual hyena highway. I'm just going to try and move a little bit so we can see if we can spot a cub. Thanks very much, Joe. I'll be out in two minutes and make space for people. Thanks. Okay, we're just going to try to get a view of the cubs. Okay, so she's just behind that tree there, and the cubs seem to be feeding this side, so let's go around. There should be a nice open gap coming. Jandre, let me yelp if you see a baby. There we go, we should get a view of them from here, maybe. Yes, there they are, both of them. So I'm just going to go to the right slightly. I'm just trying to move so there's no stick. There we go. I saw the other one just off behind her. So both are there. I can't see whether that's the little male or female yet.
Now, maybe it is possible. We didn't see any blood on her face earlier, but she might have been heading to fetch the cubs to bring them to this kill. Hello, little greedy guts. Yum, 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 yum. Fresh in parlor. I hope you guys are getting some fantastic screenshots when the little one looks away from its kill or from its mom's kill. Isn't that gorgeous light? Andre, you think this is the best spot or should I try forward a little bit? I get past that branch, what do you think? Yeah. Let's just try to sneak past the branch. There we go, I think there's a gap between those two little strychnos now. Isn't this absolutely gorgeous? <laughs> They're such perfect little miniature versions of the adult. You can see how it's using it. Oh, look at that. Red lipstick for Saturday night out in the town, so it must be the little girl. I think I actually can't see. I'm just, just joking. Now, the other one is just behind her, and you can see Krula is very aware about what's around. Not only could she lose this kill to hyenas? She could easily lose it to another male leopard as well. It seems like Saturday Cat Day has not let us down again. Oh, nice big piece there. So I will stay for as long as we can. So we've probably got another couple of minutes till the next vehicle comes. I know how lucky we we just accidentally bumped into them. I saw a car on the road. They looked to be staring a bit too intently into the bush to be in a Nyala there. Not very far from here, I've just heard on the radio. This Tundi is not more than 500 meters from here. I just got to be on the game drive radio for a second. Any other station also interested in the sighting uh, as soon as you get close, I'll move out for you as well. Here's the other cub. That's the female. That looks, I just saw from, it looks like that's the little female, the little male's still eating.
Isn't this incredible? And we can see she is opening the stomach the way she's eating a piece of the lower intestine at the moment. She will try to get that stomach out and enable her to hopefully make that carcass light enough for her to carry up a tree. There you go, you can see the impala pellets falling out. That's the lower intestine. And she pushes the, the dung out and eats the, the lining. She is very aware. Oh, isn't that beautiful, the light on her face. Okay. What have they heard? So you guys just got to be on the radio. Yeah, Sinead, as soon as you, you close our max space. So we're quite lucky, uh, the others were quite far away because we happened to sort of trip over the sighting rather than call ourselves in for it. So uh, thanks to Joe and everyone else for giving us a chance to, to view our favorite queen and her gorgeous cubbies. Tom in Dallas is wondering about energy expended and energy gained. So what is the ratio? Uh, Tom, I would be lying if I said I knew the exact ratio, but leopards and lions have about a 12 to 15% success rate. So I'm, my maths is horrific, but I'm sure someone who's a bit smarter than me could work it out from there. <laughs> She heard something and so did the cubs, but oh, it was a Franklin. Okay, guys, we're going to have to move out now uh, to give the other vehicles a chance to come in here. And we'll definitely come check here first thing in the morning again. So I want, let's have one last look at the little male cub feeding away. There's mom, and off we go. Wasn't that exciting, isn't it? Aren't we lucky this evening? Okay, well, you know, sometimes you have tough choices to make, or, or lovely choices to make. We're gonna make space, give someone else a chance 